Have you ever wondered how Nike create adverts which change the world? Adverts like this, and this, and most recently in 2020, this. They don't just hit the ball out of the park once, they hit it further and further, each time creating rippling shockwaves, not only in the sporting world, but in the world as a whole. Nike have the ability to make its audience stop, listen, and share its message, which creates huge return on investment in the process, as a marketer, is the holy grail. Nike is a $34 billion company. They sell 25 pairs of shoes every second, employ over 71,000 people, and have 1,100 stores worldwide. Like it or not, Nike are the biggest sportswear brand in the world, despite its inception much later than its competitors. With Adidas being created in 1924 worth 16 billion, and Puma in 1948 worth 5 billion dollars. Now, the way that Nike have been able to accelerate their growth over the few decades, despite being founded much later than its competitors, is unquestionably down to its marketing, and its advertisements in particular. There's a variety of different factors that they use within their marketing, which I'm going to outline to you today. But first, let's rewind back to 1964. Firstly, we need to take note of how Nike came to be. Nike was known as Blue Ribbon Sports when it first founded, and it was created by Oregon athlete Phil Knight and his coach Bill Bowerman. The company was originally reselling Japanese shoes from a company called Onitsuka Tiger, and that relationship developed over a number of years. However, in 1971, that relationship came to an end. Blue Ribbon Sports decided to sell their own footwear, which was rebranded as Nike, and Nike would bear their world-famous swoosh logo which was created by Carolyn Davis for just $35. And after this rebrand, the campaign started to roll in. So this brings me on to the first point, storytelling, the Just Do It campaign. The Just Do It campaign was created in 1988, and it is still used to this very day. It's been the cornerstone for Nike advertisements for the last few decades. It was created by Wyden and Kennedy, Nike's primary ad agency, and is still to this day. It was co-founder Dan Weidman who created the famous slogan, Just Do It. And it can be seen in this example here. A few years ago, I would have had trouble walking up this hill. I smoked, I drank, I was fat, and I hadn't done a lick of exercise in my life. So I started jogging. Who says you can't run away from your problems? One thing that you might notice about this ad is that at no point it mentions Nike products. It mentions storytelling. And to this day, Nike hardly ever talk about their products in their advertisements. Instead, they take you on a journey. What they do really well is communicate their why. Their why of their brand is not what they do. Their why intrinsically connects with people and it makes people buy into their brand and buy into their products without having to mention how good their products are. Instead of telling you how great their shoes are, they tell you stories and it's not just stories which we can't relate to. Every single story that they tell us is very simple and it's something that we can also relate to. So this brings me on to another point, how they tell their stories. It's all well and good taking you on a journey, but if you can't follow that story, if you can't follow that journey, the viewer's going to lose interest and they're not going to pay attention. So, Nike have a solution for that. The message speaks directly to you and gives you the sense that you can also accomplish any goal or objective that you set. And the important part about this is that it's not done in a cheesy way. And not only do they tell you stories, they use athletes at the top of their game to tell you these stories. Why? This built is through a notion of anyone being able to accomplish their goals and becoming the next Michael Jordan or Cristiano Ronaldo. And this brings me on to the next point. Athlete sponsorships. As seen in that previous example, Nike featured a marathon runner, which, of course, is athlete endorsement. Athlete sponsorship is nothing new. Endorsements by athletes have been around for years, years before Nike were even established. However, Nike made a signing which would go on to change the game forever. And that, of course, was seven times NBA winner Michael Jordan in 1984. 
Nike signing Michael Jordan was one of the biggest boosts to Nike's publicity and sales. It was no secret that Michael Jordan was set to be a star. But while others balked at the idea of investing in such a rookie at the time, Nike took that plunge. They invested $7 million into Michael Jordan over a five year deal to wear Nike shoes, where the record before was £150,000 from New Balance. Nike had well and truly put all of their chips on the red and black uniform of Michael Jordan. And it paid off. Jordan's career needs no explanation. He exploded into a global superstar. And brand Jordan today is worth around $10 billion. What Nike done here was pick out the absolute best of the best, taking risks early on. People want to identify with champions embodying human accomplishments. And that's what Nike went on to do. By combining world-class athletes and telling engaging storytelling, which we can all relate to, Nike gave this sense that we can all achieve great things by just taking simple steps. This is so important why they've managed to grow at the rate they have. Whilst many organisations are reluctant to step across social boundaries, Nike go headfirst into this storm, knowing that they'll come out better than when they entered it. Companies don't want to step across social boundaries in case they get possible public backlash. However, Nike throw all caution to the wind when it comes to this. Recently, they've used controversy in their adverts to promote themselves. They used this Colin Kaepernick campaign a few years ago, which rustled a few feathers in the public discord. However, just a few years on now, this very same movement has so much support across so many different industries, sporting worlds, and the world as a whole. Genius from Nike. Or what about this advert, what will they say about you? This digital ad shows some women in hijabs drawing disdainful looks at passers-by as they run, skateboard and box. This ad is an attempt to break down boundaries for women to achieve whatever they want in countries where they may not be encouraged to do so, further and further going beyond what their competitors would risk. The inclusion of everyone, every race, every religion, age, disability, illness, the list goes on. Nike is including everyone in its marketing, and it's a brand that everyone can relate to. In conclusion, Nike has seen a dominant rise over the last few decades, and a large part of that success is down to its advertisements. They use engaging storytelling to communicate the why of their brand through world-class athletes, giving off a sense that we can all achieve our goals. They take risks along the way to break social boundaries and create an inclusive world message. Although Nike have used creative agencies to come up with campaigns in the past, ultimately, it's Nike's decision whether they go ahead with a campaign or not. And for me, that's what sets them apart. If you like the video and you like the content, it would mean a lot if you could drop us a like, drop us a subscribe on this video. And until next time, I'll see you all later.